Every board down in Boardville liked Boardmas a lot, but the Grump, who lived just north of Boardville, did not. The Grump hated Boardmas, the whole board of directors. He hated his neighbors and all their nice gestures. He hated their rules and dues increasing yearly. They'd cut down the tall trees that he loved so dearly, and they now had the gall to invite him to join them in the form of a letter with the who, what, and where, when. We promise you all good food, wine, and beer if you come to elect the new board for next year. Staring out from his window, his patience depleting, he saw the board march toward the next board miss meeting. To the clubhouse he'd go, and he'd make them see reason. And if not, he'd throw some snow at them for treason. He marched into the meeting, plopping down with a thump. The board looked quite nervously back at the grump. They'd called things to order and quorum was heard. Then counting the ballots, they spoke not a word. But the strangest thing happened. The whispers began. They announced that a write-in had won and not ran. Then the whole town of Boardville stood smiling and clapping. And they turned toward the grump, their heads nodding and yapping. The words got through slowly. The grump, he had won. He was now on the board and had no place to run. The grump, it would seem, was the new Boardville Prez. The buck stopped with him, as the old story says. And just in that moment, a small light bulb brightened. In the head of the grump, he was no longer frightened. He saw that he could be part of solutions instead of complaints of corrupt institutions. The grump could make changes. He could take part. And a swelling of pride began filling his heart. He realized that boarding was no simple task. And to do it, he'd had to lose his grump mask. And in the days that came after, the grump lost his grumpy. His attitude changed and he wasn't so dumpy. The Grump was invested, he gave it his all, and both he and Boardville were having a ball. And in Boardville, they now have a saying they uses. Try walking a mile in a board member's shoes.